Hey, welcome back to Webdematics. This is your host Subendu Bhatt and in today's video we will integrate pay with PayPal option in our multi-seller e-commerce using latest PayPal API. So let me show you workflow. Suppose a customer comes to our website and added, add some item to the card and then proceed to checkout. And there will be a pay with PayPal option, PayPal option. Let's fill our form with fake filler. So check out information, pay with PayPal and place order. So it redirect us to the PayPal with our amount. Here we can pay, then we get payment successful. All right, so we'll learn how to do this in this video. So previously we have uh, done using some package. This time we will not use that, we will use PayPal SDK. By the way, if you are watching this for first time, uh, we have the repo, I will supply the link uh, that is called Webmall. So look for the link of the repository, this repository on description section. So in developer.paypal.com, just go to APIs and here we will need SDK. SDKs. So here, uh, PSP checkout. So we will use this SDK. So here if you go there is a set of your SDK guide. So from here we'll click on set of our SDK and we'll do uh, this, we'll require this package. So once that is done we need the API credential to use this service. So here you get a link for getting the API credentials. Just visit that. So let's log into dashboard. Okay, we are logged into dashboard and here we are in sandbox environment and we need to create a app. So we can create new app. So supply app name and then choose the sandbox business account from. So this account is where your all money goes after someone paid you. And here accept payment as merchant. So we'll stick to merchant option, app name and choose a business account and then create app. So I've already done create app section. So I will, you'll see new app created. So this is my app and from here you can copy your client ID and then show the secret and just save that somewhere. We'll need them. So next thing, uh, just go to sandbox accounts and here you'll have some accounts by default. So these are default account. Uh, one is the personal account that you can use in sandbox environment to pay. And this is where your money will go. So I have a couple of more account, uh, but your sandbox account, account you you have selected some account. So for this account, for this app, I have webdramatics dash one account linked up. So all my money will go there. So you need to log in with that account. We'll see that in a moment just to make sure sandbox account is this. So after you have your credentials, next let's go to the VS code and we have to create one class which will be the PayPal service class which will handle all the PayPal related stuff. So I have already created inside app services PayPal service.php. So just create that file. So I'll just close that out. So name uh, namespace will be app services and so just ignore all code below i will explain in a moment so first thing you need to create a constructor so this constructor will construct a paypal client so first thing environment sandbox and then we have to use this environment file first client id and then client secret and then pass that environment to paypal http client so now our client is ready. We'll use this client to make request, execute our API requests. So that's the step. So make sure you put these two value on your .env file with exact key names that matches that. These two, client secret and client ID. All right, so make sure when you go live, just replace this sandbox credential with real live credentials that you will get from developer console. So let's jump back to code and here. So after our constructor and client is ready, we need to write a method to create our order. So, so first thing, first method you'll need is create order. So there are two methods, create order and capture order. So just two method you'll need. These are just helper methods. So first thing we'll create order and then we'll, after creating order, we'll capture that order. So 
first thing let's go to our order controller order controller there we go so this is the store method that it will hit when we do place order and we are saving all shipping information all card item we are creating order we are saving order and then generating order details sub orders and here comes the good part so let me make it a bit bigger for those who are watching from mobile and here when payment method is paypal when user select payment method paypal we are redirecting user to paypal.checkout and passing the newly created order id so this will need to access the order related information so now we have to create this route so let's go to web.php and here we'll need basically we'll need three route one is to redirect to paypal and one is after success response and one is when cancel response so when there is cancellation occurs what we want to show to user which will be handled by this controller and this method and on success this controller and this method will handle the success response so just create paypal controller and then just define these two route these three routes so let's jump to the paypal controller and in paypal controller this is the method which will uh, be hit when we do the place order method so here what we are doing we are calling that paypal service class and then doing create order so this paypal service is initialized in constructor uh, this service class we just created we just created constructor with that we need this create method which we will create in a moment as i'll show so we'll uh, show the we'll call the create order method and pass the order id all right so order id we have access we are passing from here to here so let's jump to this create order method and what we have to do in order to create order on paypal end so we have created order in our end uh, in our database uh, that is a different order and one order we have to create on paypal so this is basically the paypal order all right so here we have first we need to do order create request new up that and this part is uh, important request header return representation so and we have to construct the request body and request body contains the data about the payment data how much we have to charge the user so let's jump into this method simple checkout data this here we go and here first we are getting our order from our database and then intent is capture so this intent has two options capture and authorization so basically we'll do capture authorization means just we are authorizing order and we can later on charge the customer if you want to know more detail about these you can refer to api documentation so most common use case is capture and then purchase unit are what are we purchasing so one unique reference id and then amount so in order we have grand total field that we are using so if you go to database here is order and we are saving the grand total here and then we are using that for charging our customer so this will be the amount that customer will pay us and this is the structure and here we have to supply the return url so after successful returns where where a customer should be returned this is the route that we just defined on web.php this one let's go back and this is the cancel url all right so this is the simple data that you can pass in and there is another option so if you want to supply more data like shipping uh, option discount and all stuff then, then you have to construct like this so this is the simple stuff if you want to just charge the customer and if you want to show the shipping detail you want to show the detail of each and every items which customer bought in the paypal screen then you need to supply that so these all data is for paypal screen that i'll show in a moment so this purchase unit we have to supply more detail data by the way all this code will be available on github you can uh, see there here i have done here so this shipping information here the amount value amount and breakdown amount according to the item total how much shipping charge we will do right now i have not included this shipping feature and all handling charges total tax shipping discount and all stuff so by the way these amounts should 
so these all amounts should match with this so this plus this plus all adding these and subtracting this discount should match to grand total by the way you can save all this information on order object and supply it here so in order table you can save all these or according to your need if you want to save it on config and just pull in the standard shipping information okay so let's use that detailed checkout data and not use simple data and here uh, after we are constructing the body then we have to execute the request using our client and pass in the request so here it is so when first step we created the order so if order is successful so this is the uh, create order part it will return the response it will do nothing so whenever we uh, get uh, the so when status is not 201 created we'll abort and we will find the order and then save the paypal order id so this create order response will need will get the paypal returns us the order id which we will need to uh, charge the customer so here we get the id and then we have to save the id to order table by the way i've added a new column to orders table uh, paypal order id field where, where we'll store this i've created new migration for that so in this response we loop through link and there is a link called approved link that we have to do we have to redirect user to all right so then we will see the paypal screen and when i hit place order it is it is running all this code let me show it in paypal so this paypal controller this code is getting executed and when this reach here and it will redirect us to approve link so it redirected uh, redirect us to this approve link and here we see and now next uh, here if you go and it will do all details that we constructed body in body we have passed all these details subtotal and all this and when we hit pay now it will redirect us to the this route because we have supplied that on body let's do that now so at this point we have saved our order id and all stuff order creation is successful then pay now now what it is doing is it is uh, executing this code paypal checkout success and what this code is doing is finding order capturing order so the paypal order id that we saved on order id order table database table we will use that now so let's go to the capture order part so capture order part is rather simple just two lines just new of the order capture request and pass the paypal order id and then execute the request all right so this will just return us back to our page with payment successful that is the whole workflow quite simple so so on success what we are doing is we are finding order we are executing the capture request and when this re uh, request is completed here we are checking we are making the order is paid and then saving the order so order has been paid now and then we are clearing the session data all the cart items has been cleared because in order controller uh, here we are clearing cart item but this will never get executed for paypal so for paypal specific case we will do it in paypal controller here we are clearing card by sending mail and directing user back to home so if we see the mail trap we should get the order paid email here we go a minute ago order paid thank you also let's verify by logging in into our business account that we have received our payment just go to sandbox.paypal.com and log in with your business account so this is my account login all right so here we can see our payment received all right so that's it about the payment with paypal finally just to review what we have done till now so our ex in our existing application we have this package and we removed that and added that by doing compose require just remove this in order controller we have just do some cleanup and the more important uh, code changes that we have done is in paypal controller 
so we use this paper we created the paypal services service and we removed all other old code in we have created paypal service class we have uh, added a new migration file for adding paypal order id and in mail cart we have a disabled discount for now so all discount and shipping we have to do it in more managed way yeah that's it hope you like this uh, video i will see you on another video bye